EA Sports. It's in the game. What's poppin' everybody? It's your country cousin here, so great for in the building. And yes, we are back with Den Cell David Marcus Johnson Washington. By the way, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am still not doing good, no. Because of this loss, though. That that loss, I still feel like it shouldn't have happened. That man I feel the bruh. The kicker let us down. Special teams let us down. You talk about an utter failure. Nah, that shit hurt. One point loss to Fresno State. I already said they wasn't no they wasn't no bitch. I already said that before. But bro. You talk about a loss that genuinely hurt? Oh, no, this one hurt for real. I ain't forgetting this one. But let's go ahead and get you to the uh, CUSA, all CUSA Americans. And we got a few players, man. We do got a few players. I'm pretty sure number one is definitely going to be... Uh, an All-American next year, but this year it's, it's for number four, man. N number four, he did his thing, man. He he, he he pretty much was that safety blanket. I'm not going to hold you. And he was a valid decoy, too, for the safeties. It was dope. It, it was dope to have them there. Sad to see him go, but he was a senior. And it is what it is, man. But, um... We do got a few people for the uh, first team and second team, by the way. Um, which I'm not surprised. This is pretty much going to be a Houston fest because they were the best team in the conference. It's like, you know, they were the best team. Like, there, there was never no, uh, nah, maybe they'll no. They they were the best team in the conference. Point blank period. But this right here, though, man. I'm extremely happy for wide receiver number four, man. He he did his thing. He did what he had to do. He did good. He did real good. Even though we didn't get a lot of notoriety for the first team, the second team, however, there was a few of us in there. There was a few of us in there. I'm not going to hold you. But this list, though, this overall list is a great list, though. And of course, you're going to see Houston plastered all over it for the first team. But, man, this is a group. This is a good group of people right here, man. Like, you cannot, you cannot falter this whatsoever. And that's just for the offensive side, by the way. That wasn't even defense. Because we do got a few players. As you can see, the cornerback, first team. First team, all defense, dog. And the free safety. First team all defense. First team all defense. First team all defense. Not let me stop playing. Uh, but going into the um, second team though, man, we, it, it, it's beautiful, man, because both of the cornerbacks are there. Both of them. Now, this is strictly for the conference, of course, because he's gone, by the way. Wide receiver number eight. He, I said wide receiver number eight. Cornerback number eight. He's gone, and I did get one for specialist. Cause, eh, he, he did I, right, I guess. But enough of that. You already know what it is, man. We gotta give a shout out to one of my family members' favorite team, Miami. They went fourteen and zero. Uh, they and them boys took the champ. By the way, they took the championship, bro. They did good. I wish I was able to see that game personally, but since, of course, this is Rose of Glory, you're not allowed to see them games. But let's go ahead and get you into the spring game, man. Yes, because we are in the off season, So I got to get you to it. And I did play a little bit of the defense. I did actually play on defense, um, which was fun. It helped me get a little bit of practice in. Uh, for my secondary character but we're not here to talk about that right now we're here to talk about David Washington and the new set of offense that I currently have keyword currently have because half of people haven't got cut yet and we also haven't brought in new players but 
Man, I hope this half back could really take off, dog. I really do. Um, because I'm going to need him. I, I, I'm, I'm going to need the running back. I'm, I'm going to need it. There ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. I, I'm going to need the running back on my side. Because, yeah, you may think, like, you see all of that red in the background, which, yeah, it's cool and all, but, uh, man, this, this is primed to change. Like, this isn't going to be the end-all, be-all. Because you still got to bring in the recruiting class. Still got to bring in the uh, walk-ons. Still got to bring in the um, the cuts and um, make sure that we can sign off for new prospects again for the beginning of the year. And, man, it's it's going it's to be a wild ride. It really will be. Um, which I will also get into that later. Um, but man, I really tried to go off a few times. I did throw a couple of interceptions. I'm not gonna hold you. I did. Like here. <laughs> yo, look, I tried, okay? I tried. I tried, yo. I tried. But man, yo, hey. I'm able to, the quarterback is not really fidgeting a lot though. Um, I'm able to read, I'm actually allowed to read the defense a little bit more because of his composure being up. So I can actually make more accurate passes even if I am being hurried, which is nice. Look at that, beautiful pass. It's good out here, man. It's good out here. I threw for a touchdown too. We'll get to that later as well. Um, it, it's, it's a nice change of pace. It's a nice change of pace. Because it, it doesn't even show that like he's an impact player or anything. Because it's still basing off of currently last season. It has nothing to do with the current season as of right now. And uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he gone. Okay, yep. It's official. Running back number two is gonna be solid. Yeah, he may show as a 76, I think. I think he had like a 76. His speed ain't amazing. The birth. They can get an open fit. Over with. Over with. The man gonna be nice, dog. That was a 50 yarder, too. He gonna be nice. It's, uh, it is, so there is slight hope in my um, in some of my players, man. You know, I do got cut. Ooh. Stiff arm. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He gonna be good. <laughs> he gonna be good. I ain't got nothing to worry about my running back now. Huh? Now I gotta figure out the wide receivers. Who gonna be the first person to drop the pass? Without getting hit, by the way. So this is gonna be fun. Look at that. Broke the tap. Man. Let me say he might work, dog. Spent right off him. Crazy. Second and eight. Ball on the 35 yard but, uh, man, this is this is gonna be um, this is gonna be something nice, man. I mean, I'm I'm super excited, but at the same time, it's like, damn, kind of wishing for the worst. Oh, got in front of him. Look at that, beautiful. I wish he would have kept going to the sideline. But, oh, well. um, he kind of like stopped right there at the end of his route. But it's all good though. Um. I'm, I'm kind of hoping for a slight resurgence in um, number 18 and number 82 because I really, really going to need them. I, I, I'm going to need them. I can't just pass to number one the whole time. That's, that's not how that works. Because when you play up against Houston or hit, um, East Carolina University, those good defenses, that shit ain't going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And um, I really need... Um, full on in jet view of uh, the defense in this first upcoming game because oh my goodness man like it's it's, it's good man it's going good that should have been a touchdown enough of that uh, it's going good though man I mean I can't wish I can't wish for anything more man this the offensive line is slightly blocking but you gotta remember of course this is just pre-draft this ain't even the real thing, real thing yet. Like, this is just parts of it. 
same as giving you like the whole in-depth view of what the offense or what the defense can do. Because it's last year's defense, bruh. They put them boys in the chokehold. He got hit, so that drop technically the don't count. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I did say without getting hit. So, since he did get hit, that drop technically is null and void for me. It don't really count. But man, I was I was thoroughly happy. I'm thoroughly happy with the um, end result um, of this spring game, which they do give you like an actual result. Like, hey, this is how this person did. This is how this person did in this section and that section. Well, it don't fully specify the section by person, but more on the lines of ability as a team per whole. So, in passing, catching. Um, coverage, defense, tackling, things like that. Which is the reason why I love the spring game because it gives you a slight evaluation as to what you might need. Oh my goodness, that boy didn't even block for me. That's crazy. I, I still gotta remember to use quarterback avoidance. Because if y'all looked on my other character, that man was up in there breaking like three to four tackles, dog, in the pocket. And that's also something that I also need to learn how to do effectively. The way I can stop getting sacked so much. But man. Man. I really do wish that they wouldn't dive at the ball as much as that um, AI does. Just to see if like they would jump for the ball. You know, jump in the air and actually try to attempt to catch it. Without having to dive. Which would be nice to see. But you, you really don't know. Because... Yeah, it does depend on their ratings, but also it depends on the AI as well. You can only do so much with that. Yeah, um, ugh, that was a terrible pass. I almost got picked off. Um, I also need to have him work on kind of like his um, throw on the run because it's not, as you can see, it's not accurate. Man was supposed to pass to the wide open man underneath, but he just didn't do it. Threw it over the top, which is Number scary enough. With the carry, gain of ten on the Because, like I said before, playing against them defenses, I mean, you saw um, in the previous season, this man was getting picked off a lot, a lot. Just threw two picks just now, so it's um, it's very very hectic. Um, not because um. Not having a real guaranteed position or spots or anything like that, but mostly on the lines of um, knowing what the team is going to look like. Um, knowing what the team is going to look like later on when the season actually starts and get underway. After everything changes, how will the team look afterwards? And that's always kind of like the scary part because. We're not in control of the um, administrative director, so... Ooh, that's a beautiful pass. Call. Touchdown. Sheesh, man. Sheesh. But yeah, um, since we're not the AD, and we're also not in control of the offense nor defense, in a particular form of, like, coaches, so we don't get to uh, view the scouting report. We don't get to view the... Uh, Oh, that's a beautiful pass. Oh, look at that. It was, it look, oh my, bruh. All right, so maybe, maybe number 82 should get rewarded for two drops. Because it was going to be somebody. Man's was wide open. Well, he wasn't wide open. He was kind of in distress a little bit. But he dropped the pass, bro. He dropped the pass. He dropped it, dog. It's crazy. But the O-line has been blocking pretty well, though. Um, in this game in particular, though, I can't necessarily say um, that they'll keep doing that. But, I mean, overall, I only got sacked one time within this little, like, tenure for, like, seven to seven minutes, I guess. So, it, has, it hasn't really been, you know, too amazing or too drastic because you never know. But, I mean, as you can see, there's the results. B minus. Covering was an A, which I was never worried about. The secondary was always pretty decent. Tackling, running, catching is a D because D minus because of those drops, like I said before. 
And both the quarterbacks passing was eh, eh. They gave it a B minus because of the actual completion percentages and um, yards that uh, that was acquired. But, bruh, forget about all that. Look at this. Beautiful, ain't it? That's year two. And guess what? We got Mississippi State up first. Again. They got them dogs. That's not the point, though. This is a new revamp team. Uh, hopefully, we should do good against Mississippi State. I said hopefully. Look at that, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Nice little secondary updated room. Um, yes, just like in Madden, um, everything changes. And, oh, oh, oh. It seems they was not following the rules, 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 rules. Uh, so, they <laughs> so these boys got punished. The... They wasn't following the sanctioned rules, and guess what? They got dropped to number three. Oh, let me read this real quick. Hey, David. With all the great things that you are doing on the field, it's great to also hear about what you are doing off the field. So basically what that was saying was, I'm a good player on and off the field, and he can't wait to see what I do for the rest of the season. I read that kind of fast, but then I like kind of skipped over second half part of it because my job yes of course i am editing the video so of course i'm gonna be able to read everything but oh my goodness man i decided to change up the uniform just a little bit i know i know i know like why but here's why i want to do is like because it isn't always gonna be cold you gotta remember i'm playing in the south so it ain't always gonna be cold like 30 degree snow type of cold, but more on the lines of, it'll be like 65, it'll be 50. So I won't always need to wear sleeves. So that's why I'm going all black on the right side and all blue on the left side. But bruh, I did not crack the top 25 dog because I didn't win. I didn't win, bruh, I was 28. I was at 28 when I won against Houston. And Houston dropped to number 15 because of that loss. And then they got dropped out of the top 25 along with Navy and Tennessee. Just in case you didn't see it fully, um, Tennessee, Houston, and the Navy, all three of them got dropped out. They're not even in the top 25 no more. But man, as, as I told you before, Miami, they dropped the number two. They're on a two-year probation, dog. Two, two years. Two-year probation. And here we are to the conference outlook. And now I am in second place. You got to remember, bro. In season one, I was nowhere near close to top five. Nowhere near it. But academically and program, athletic program, had jumped up by one star. First, we was two stars. Now we're both three stars. And guess who they made? Your impact player. Me and right outside uh, linebacker. We both have been made impact players. And as you can see, some of these players are walk-ons. Of course, you can tell by with the names. Um, people that got names are technically walk-ons. They um, were weren't um recruited out or looked at by memphis they just walked on so to speak and um yeah i mean we do got a few decent players man i mean i wonder what they gonna do um this season man it's it's, it's, it's looking sketchy but then at the same time it's like all, a lot of these dudes man they oh a lot of these dudes are transfers too so so it's nice to get some transfers in, but it's also nice to get a few walk-ons and it kind of look pretty decent, man. So I'm I'm pretty excited for the season. But I mean, as you can see, we got three impact players. Hopefully I can get my half back at an impact player as well by the end of the season. But let's check this out too, real quick. Cause um, <clears throat> the psychology major is changing this year. I don't know what I'm gonna pick, but I'm gonna pick something nice. 
but these are the athletic goals. And uh, let's just say I'm going to pass every last one of them by the fifth game. Pretty sure I will. And if I don't, then that's a problem. But hey, man, you know what? That's enough for me today. Man, y'all stay safe. Take care of yourself. Take care of your peoples. Watch your surroundings. And mind your business. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love.